How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another edition of the East Texas Trucker Channel. Figured I'd give you guys a little update here. It's been about two weeks since my last video. Uh, my last video I talked about how got a lot of different things fixed on the truck over the last few weeks or so. And we're finally able to run for a good two weeks without any major issues uh, holding us back. So, last week, right after the video I just put out, we had a good week, and probably hit a good 2,200 miles. And unfortunately, we couldn't get home for the Memorial Day weekend. So I got stuck in Memphis, my load canceled that was supposed to get me home I had a like a beer load or a hard seltzer load coming out of Memphis and I go to pick up and they just said they didn't have the product for the load and that it was effectively canceled so I was SOL but it wasn't too terrible I found uh, a nice well it wasn't nice but it was better than nothing. There was a dirt lot parking lot in South Haven. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen it, but it's next to a bunch of hotels. There's like a La Quinta, an Econo Lodge, a Drury Inn, a Wyndham, and there's a there's kind of a, a, a small dirt lot. You can probably fit about 10 or 11 trucks in there. It's pretty tight. It's really bumpy, but, you know, it gets the job done, so there's a lot of uh, restaurants and uh, you know, department stores, stuff like that over there uh, to go to. Um, so, you know, I treated myself and had some Texas Roadhouse, and, you know, that, that helped make it a little bit better being stuck there, but, you know, it still wasn't the funnest thing. So, we weren't able to get home after that, so I got a load out of Memphis there to Florida, which is actually my first time, believe it or not, running into Florida in a truck. I'm kind of surprised it took me this long, but there's just, you know, getting into Florida is one thing, getting out is another thing, so we uh, actually had a pre-plan coming out, so that wasn't a problem, and uh, had a delivery down into Plant City, just outside Tampa Bay. Uh, if any of you guys truck around Florida, it's probably you're probably familiar with that place. Uh, went to the Gordon there, uh, so a reefer warehouse, and then we got out of there and went up to Pensacola and got home to East Texas from there. So spent two weeks out on the road. That's the longest I've been out since I, I left Swift so it's been you know a lot more bearable these last two weeks after getting my AC fixed I also I don't think I mentioned it in my last video but I think my alternator also got replaced uh, that they, they didn't mention that the mechanics didn't mention that but I was looking under my hood and right about where the alternator should be it's like all shiny you know the part is all shiny I didn't remember that being shiny so I'm pretty sure I got a new alternator but uh, unfortunately uh, that still doesn't fix the fact that we have some problems with either uh, the battery or something electrical because ever since I've had this truck it kind of leaks power or voltage and whenever I turn off the truck, it goes down to like 13, 12.7 volts. And I don't know, it, it, it doesn't cause too many problems, but it doesn't, I don't think it's normal for when you start the truck, every time you start it, you have to crank it twice. Every time I crank this thing, I turn the key and it goes like one or two turnovers and then it cuts out and I have to start it again and it'll start consistently but 
if I leave it for too long, it'll take two or three sometimes. And it, it took way too long one of these times where I wasn't sure it was going to be able to get started. It had dr drawn all the way down to like 11 volts, which that was like over 24 hours. So I might be having a battery going dead on me. I'm going to probably get that checked out whenever I can get through uh, the terminal here uh, in the next week or so. But, uh, you know, bare minimum, we're able to at least run now. Uh, hopefully for a little while, maybe make it to our next uh, A or B service uh, without too much problems. And make some money, get, get to the get to those miles, get to that bonus, and uh, yeah, man, life is good so far. Uh, just an update, though, uh, I am looking to have the three-month review coming out uh, of my new company, TLI, right here, here, I've got a new hat, I don't know if y'all want to see that, but... Um, I finally got OBS set up on my computer. I'm gonna be able to do, you know, a little bit more of an in-depth overview of my miles and my experience with the company so far. So look forward to that video if you wanna know more about my time here at TLI the last three months. So that should be coming out later this weekend, probably Sunday, um, so yeah. Y'all have a good one.